navigating the historical earnings and price correlated fast graph. There are two options for changing the time frame. You can click the years in the orange rectangles at the top of the graph, or you can use the sliders at the bottom of the graph to focus in on specific historical time frames. Historical performance calculations can be accomplished by simply clicking on a historical price and then pointing to a second historical price and a pop-up with total return information to include dividends and capital appreciation will be revealed. To turn them off, simply click the last point noted. To examine the effects of valuation, you can pick a spot when the stock was undervalued or fairly valued to another spot and see the benefits of fair valuation in contrast to seeing what happens for a period of time if you invested in the stock when it was overvalued. As you change time frames, notice that the normal PE ratios, growth rates, etc., will ad automatically adapt and adjust. To focus on certain metrics, the graphs can be taken apart by simply clicking the items in the orange rectangle legend. I've taken price off, I've taken the normal PE off, I've taken dividends off, and by re-clicking, I simply add them all back to the graph to create the full graph. Dividend yield as it relates to a company's valuation is offered as an overlay, adding a new scale and showing periods when the yield was high during periods when the price was low and vice versa. We also include stock splits. You can click the splits number and again take the, these things off the graph if you choose to. By pointing at any spot on the price, black price line on the graph, a pop-up will appear that shows the price and the P-E ratio that the company was trading at on that date.